evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years, home to this championship fight. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Roy Jones Jr.'s entrance here. What a ring walk. Just brimming with confidence, ready for the task at hand. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Probably more so, Teddy, than any other sport, these kind of fights stand the test of time. All-time epics. Round one now is underway. Teddy, you think this is the kind of matchup where we're going to see a lot of movement? Yeah, I think you will. Especially if the faster fighter gets his way, he's going to want to go take a stroll in the park a little bit, Joe, and make sure that the low endurance fighter is going to have to do some extra pacing. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Joe Frazier. <laughs> he digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. <laughs> Right to the head with that right. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Oh, he just misses with that head shot. Hey, if you can throw them all, you may just land them all, and he does with that four-punch combination. Head shot lands, was a hook. Hits him in the mug with the right. A well-placed left hand up top. Left hand came after the jab. He missed with that headshot. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Two snapping jabs by Roy Jones. Come on! Frazier's tagged by that powerful hook. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Roy Jones Jr. once again this fight venue. We always have a great time when we come to town with the exception of having to pay the bill for our entire crew on the night before when they take us out to a steak dinner. Yeah, you know, they remind me of fighters a little bit. You know, the fighters that we see that have three, yeah, you know, every once in a while, very short arms. <laughs> <laughs> you know? They, they do. <laughs> they, these guys... They don't real. have the reach. No, they, they don't. They can't reach for the wallet. No, they don't. And I tell you, they would be great on the inside. What? Really great. I wish what? I could put them on the inside in the kitchen where I didn't have to take care of them at the table, but great guys. That's a well-scored left hand by Roy Jones. Basic but beautiful. Jab, left hand. Frazier's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Roy Jones Jr.'s combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. You know, that jab is so basic, so simple, but as you can see, so very effective for him early on in this fight. Yeah, well, he's telling his opponent, you're not coming onto my property. You know, I have a dog here, and this dog bites. One, two jabs up top. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Roy Jones. Get inside! Get inside! 
Getting comfortable with that jab, isn't he? A huge right hand from Roy Jones Jr. He took a shot, now he gives a left. Well, he looks ready for action here. Doubling up the jab by Roy Jones. Joe Frazier's hurt by a superb hook to the head. Good, solid right hand by Roy Jones. Joe Frazier reminds me of one of those cartoons right now. Look at that. Frazier's got to have better defense than that. He just let his opponent come in with that straight punch and score the knockdown. Blit is gone. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. A little head hunting with the right. Good two-punch combo by Roy Jones. Keep moving, keep moving. Flush right hand to the head. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Zones in on that overhand right. Oh, good-looking two-punch combination by Roy Jones. Roy Jones Jr. is making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Roy Jones. Roy Jones Jr. putting, that's a clean shot, able to get in with the right hand. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. Jones's right hand scores well that time. Beginning of round number four, Teddy, the way your scorecard reads, he's up three rounds to zip. Good, accurate punching, earning him that lead. Yeah, very conservative. Hasn't wasted anything, but as you just touched on, has made everything count. Jones is picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last big shot? The left crashed home. Keep moving, keep moving. And a nice combo by Roy Jones. Blocks away that headshot. Down defense, good block that time by Joe Frazier. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Just like that. Good right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Good defense, just covering up down low. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Big, big shot comes crashing home. And Smoke and Joe rise up and continue on. Frazier now rising up, and how will he deal with this? Well, that's what he wants to know because he's been good addition. Now let's see how he takes. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Joe Frazier. And he was dropped. Frazier's going out there after just being knocked down in the last round. If you're standing opposite him, 
What's the mentality? What's the strategy here? Well, you want to go after him, but you don't want to walk into a trap either. You want to kind of size him up a little bit. You want to see if he looks like he's okay, but at the same time, keep in your mind that he might be trying to con you. You know you hurt him, so put that pressure on, but do it smart. Good, clean shot, returning jam? fire. Well done by Joe Frazier. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Good job on the two-punch combo by Roy Jones. Frazier's been hurt by that shot. Oh, that was a smart move right there. He was hurt, but then he held on. Absolutely, Joe, but a stupid move, a bad move by the fighter who was having him. Frazier's banged by a left hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. Joe, in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you can go after him, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. Relax, relax. This is the best of Joe Frazier we can see right now. A Joe Frazier who makes a mistake, who... Joe Frazier's clamped down by a left hand. His opponent has to be getting frustrated here. He had his man down, but now he keeps getting tied up. Look, I'm frustrated watching it. I don't care about his opponent. I don't have any pity for him right now because he's allowed himself to get frustrated and allow himself to get tired. All he has to do is rotate those shoulders back a little bit, push off a little bit, create room. Frazier's been stunned. But forget about what happened and find a way to have confidence. Find something to hold on to going out for the next round. You see him timing that double jab to the head. Frazier stunned and he is hurt. Well, that's the classic wet noodle foundation right there. He's on wobbly legs. <laughs> yeah, and it's not al dente. It's really, really wet noodles. Frazier's fine right now. Don't go thinking that what happened just moments ago is affecting him. Keep it tight inside. In and out. Good double jab in by Roy out. Jones. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Throw the scorecards out. Frazier's down and looks to be out. Junior's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. And welcome to this pay-per-view extravaganza. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. And we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for our main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Roy Jones Jr. is making his way to the ring right now. Boy, and he's not bashful at all, is he? Look at him, confidently making his way down. For Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. Of course, he's coming off of impressive knockout win. Jones' opponent has to be very conscious of that. 
Well, I hope so. I mean, they should have done their scouting report. If they're conscious of it, there's a better chance that they don't get caught with the shot that his last opponent did. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Returns to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Matchup in front of us tonight, Teddy. A power puncher against a guy who's very well conditioned. Now, early on in the fight, what do you look for out of the power puncher? To take his power, you know, it's not just power. It's where you distribute that power. If I'm in the corner of the power guy, I want to distribute it downstairs to the body. No better way to sap somebody's endurance, mentally and physically, than going downstairs. <laughs> Good work on the combination by Roy Jones. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Keep working the body. Jones is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Lewis's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Targeted counter punch by Roy Jones. Wow, no doubt about it. Affected by that right hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here corner they have to bring him back they have to revitalize him because believe me there might not be bells going off in his head right now but there's plenty of noise he returns the favor with a right hand of his own jones is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there landing a crisp combination nice strike after catching one by lewis You know, we're early in this fight, but Lewis's energy may come into question soon. He's throwing a lot of punches, Teddy. Yeah, and his mental energy, too. I'm wondering if he's getting a little discouraged that his opponent is not showing a lot of effect from all those shots. Halfway through round number two. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. A well-timed right hand by Roy Jones. Parries that punch away. Jones is doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants a lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a big shot. Lewis is crushed by that, and he is down. One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. There's the old one-two coming after him. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Lewis. Do you put it on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got to hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Roy Jones. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. 
Jones is giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has established the jab already. Yes, he has established the jab, and now his opponent has to think about moving his head so he can get past it. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. He just missed that shot up top. Guard up. Well placed, well timed combo up top. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Lewis is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Solid straight right hand. Lewis has got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. That is Boxing 101. A nice and crisp. Lewis is absorbing a big shot there. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? How you doing? Nice and calm? Nice and calm, right? How you feeling? He's counterpunching. You need to be aware of that, okay? And watch for the counter. You can't let this guy throw first. I mean, he... Three rounds in the books. Jones is in control. Teddy, he's up with a clean sweep on your scorecard. Yeah, and I like the way he's doing it. You know, he's making the guy come to him. He's making a miss, and he's scoring all the clean punches. I really like what he's doing here. I mean, if you were to pick any one piece of weaponry that you say aligns with what he is strategically as a fighter, it is the jab, and he's firing it off beautifully. And he's firing it off consistently all night at the right distance. He's getting full extension on that punch, and that's making him effective offensively and safe. On the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time. Two good jabs by Roy Jones. Jones is right hand working well that time. He scored well. Oh, and there you go. He goes down, and he doesn't look good at all. Lewis is going to need a minor miracle to survive this. He's going to need a great will and desire to survive it. One, two, three. Look at this. Roy Jones Jr.'s bombs away worked again. Knockout victory for him. Jones Jr.'s fitting end to a very strong night. Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights between Roy Jones Jr. and Muhammad Ali. Roy Jones Jr. is making his way to the ring right now, puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes, and taking a big stride to his destination. Muhammad Ali's ring walk. He just exudes confidence, carrying himself like a champion. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Come on, I'm 
little get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. No matter what the sport, Teddy, it's very challenging to string together two absolute masterpiece performances. Jones's last fight was just that. It was his spectacular knockout victory. And he's looking for more of the same. And to get more of the same, he's got to remember, it wasn't just his power. It was the way he set it up. It was all the little things that he did. Come on, and now fun. committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Wow, what a right hand from Muhammad Ali. Watch that. You know, here we got a matchup where Ali's fighting a guy who's unorthodox. You know, he relies on his speed, he breaks the rules a bit. But, I mean, Ali can be as unorthodox as anybody. Yeah, he can. Uh, he wrote the book on it. Matter of fact, he's going to probably remind the guy of that when he's in one of those clinches. He's probably going to pull him forward, you know, like he talked to Big George Foreman and broke him down a little bit in that fight. He's going to pull him forward a little bit. And say, Ali's hit by a right hand. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Double up, you did. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Roy Jones. Roy able to block that punch. Keep that oh, and he comes it. back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Hook off the jab. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Ten seconds to go in this round. Ali's back. Look at him here in the start of this round. Remember, he got tagged hard in that last round. Well, that's the reward you get when you have a good camp and you get yourself in top shape. Little head knocking with that right hand. Good work with that lead hand doubling up the jab by Roy Jones. Here's work in the box. Fires right back at him. Blocks that punch. He has his target. He lands a straight right. Little volume punching to the body there. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Ali's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Roy Jones Jr. is an undefeated fighter coming into this fight. Good block by Roy Jones. Stay on the outside. Oh. A clean, crisp right hand by Muhammad Ali. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Jones is quickly taking control of this fight early on with one single weapon of choice, and that is the jab. Yeah, the jab and the jab at the right time. He's catching his opponent every time he starts coming in before he can get started. Ali's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. Always great having a little electricity in the crowd you know it helps i know it helps me with the broadcast to know that you have these passionate fans that are around fine work with the double jab downstairs not able to land the headshot Targeting that straight left hand. Comes right back with a shot of his own. How about a return to sender with the left hand? My kid, focus. Good 
flush shot upstairs. Halfway through this round here. Solid left hand from Roy. And the old one-two by Roy Jones. Roy Jones Jr.'s ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it. He's putting them together. You know, one or two. Oh, that's got to hurt. Ali is rocked. Muhammad Ali went down after eating that power punch. <laughs> Makes that decision that a champion fights on. Gets up after the knockdown. We will see what he still has left. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Double jab by Roy Jones. The quick takeaway from the first three rounds is that one guy's got the higher punch output, the other one's lagging behind. As we start round number four, Teddy's scorecard, three rounds to none. Yeah, the one guy with the high punch rate, the reason he's winning and the reason why he's effective is he's in the geography of the ring. He needs to be in tight. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Roy Jones. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Ali's showing us that he is sticking with the game plan. But keep in mind, that game plan had him down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him right now, Teddy? Well, first of all, you got to... He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He turned things around, and now his opponent has to be asking himself questions. Yeah, he's got to be saying, what do I have to do to get rid of this you guy? Got this one. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here? What a big shot. All that talk from the Louisville lift. Now he's got to prove he's got some guts. Muhammad Ali is down again. Keep moving. One, two, three, four, five. Muhammad Ali is back up, but is he back in the fight? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. There's the combo to the body. Ali's punch didn't come close. Keep moving. Keep moving. Good, good. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. Muhammad Ali is showing us a side that we haven't seen before. And obviously, the knockdown brought that about. Yes, it did. And he's hoping that right now that it confuses the opponent. Don't be so sure he's going to stay with this, Joe. He might just be doing it for a diversion tactic. You know, just to survive right now, maybe buy him a little bit of time, confuse his opponent, keep his opponent at bay, and then go back to what he knows best. We'll look out for that. Jones' approach is working out right now. He's just too much for this man to deal with. Yeah, too athletic. You know, right now, even though he's making a lot of technical mistakes, you know, he's doing the most important thing. He's landing the punches at the right time. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. What a shot. Big, big shot he just scored with. 
How is this going to go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. <laughs> from those judges, he's a knockout victim. Good evening, and we welcome you to this night of World Championship pay-per-view action. Alongside my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we welcome you to the... All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. All right, keep busy First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. I'm very interested to see how he fights tonight. Jones is coming off of an impressive knockout win. Well, that could be a catch 22, Joe. Yeah, a lot of confidence coming into this fight, but also it could be overconfidence. He could start to think he's a huge puncher now and he has to throw only one shot at a time and that can really take away from his overall game. Side to side, move your head. Now he ties up there. Is height the answer, Teddy? We have a tall opponent going up against the invincible Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, it's the answer if you can use it, if you can actually fight tall and stay on the outside. But Roy doesn't go about things traditionally. I think we know that about him. He's not going to force his way in. He's probably going to step out of way and try to entice his taller fighter, his taller opponent, to give up his height. Halfway through round number one. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Keep it going. Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Roy Jones. Committing upstairs now. He goes there again. Jones is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Here we go. Round two is underway. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. Good job with another left hand. but he sends it right back. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Jones is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Roy Jones Jr. with a left. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Not precise at all by Roy Jones. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. A 
And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. He comes back with a right hand. And round number three is underway. Precision work with the left hand by Muhammad Ali. Boxing 101, jab followed by the straight. Well played, straight right hand. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Good right hand by Roy Jones. Good job staying away from the danger there. Let's move! Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Double jab by Roy Jones. Roy Jones Jr. is using that jab well very early on here, Teddy. That could be a big benefit to him tonight. Well, it's supposed to be, Joe. He has a real good wingspan. I mean, he's got those long arms. No better way to put him to use than to use that jab and use that jab at the right distance. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Roy Jones. There's the combo downstairs. There's no need to be on the inside, champ. Come on, move those feet, baby. Let's see it. Start of round number four. Jones's accuracy has really carried this fight so far. He's up three rounds to zip on your scorecard. Yeah, and again, it's because of what you just touched on. He's been a sharpshooter all night long. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Jones is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. That's two hooks to the head now by Roy Jones. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Muhammad Ali. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Halfway through round number four. It's okay. Jones is showing you a little defensive skill there. I better move away from that punch. Excellent one two by Roy Jones. tell you what a great job by Muhammad Ali's opponent that time. Listen, Ali's the better fighter. Ali's got more experience, but just going out there and making it happen, throwing enough stuff, sometimes it works. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what Muhammad Ali has left, but I do know this. He's getting up, and he's going to find out. Double up your punches. Come on now, Jack. Focus. Focus. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Having just been floored, 
Typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing out of them? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Roy Jones Jr.'s strategy has been to control things on the outside. And the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense. He's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride. And it's also set up his power shots whenever he's wanted to. Comes right back at him with a left hand. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? One, two, three, four, five. Ali's back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Commits to the straight right. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. And he's holding. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Roy Jones Jr. is doing exactly what you should to be a strong... There it is! That was a big shot that Florida, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five! Stops the fight. Ali's unable to get up and continue on. Welcome to our pay-per-view special, Joe Tessator alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, for a highly anticipated rematch in our main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action between Roy Jones Jr. and Smokin' Joe Frazier. Roy Jones Jr.'s poise is one of those things that cannot be denied. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Opening round scheduled for 10. Jones is trying to repeat his last outing. Remember that impressive knockout he had, Teddy? Yeah, I don't know if he should remember. Maybe he should have a short memory because if he goes in there looking for the knockout, he might take away the most important part of his game, the jab, the things that set it up. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on now. Jones is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Good block by Joe Frazier. A stabbing right hand comes in by Roy Jones. Roy Jones Jr. with a huge left. He comes with the straight right hand. Scores up top with a left. Did you see that? What a nice job by Frazier's opponent that time. Getting right into the kitchen against Joe Frazier and smoking him. One, two, three, four, five. Joe Frazier has been through so much. He's put in so much hard work. 
He's not going to give up that easily. He is back up after being knocked down. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Combo lands to the head. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Roy Jones Jr. bang by an uppercut. And he returns on that exchange. And now he's targeting upstairs. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. Covers up nicely. Gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Anything I should be looking for here, Teddy, to see who has the advantage between this unorthodox fighter and his style compared to this in-fighter? Yeah, inside and outside. I mean, on the outside, I think you're going to see, as you say, the unorthodox fighter. He's going to have a little advantage. You know, he's going to be able to... Frazier's trying to clear his head now. He was knocked down in that last round, but I don't know if he's fully back just sitting on that stool. Jones's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. He's committed to the combination punching down. It's working out well up top. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Nice, good, quick jabs by Joe Frazier. Frazier's eye is an absolute mess. That cut is really a major issue. Now, if you're his opponent, it's got to be the primary target, right? Yeah, in a way, but you don't want to get carried away where you're just aiming at one thing. You want to throw your punches. You don't want to go out there and now, you know, start chucking for an exact spot there. You get caught up too much in that. If it's going to land, it's going to land in that area. And it He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Nice jabs there by Roy Jones. Come on, kid. Smoking Joe Frazier nearly got smoked right there. But somehow, he's able to recover. Little head hunting with the left. Jones is landing a combination here. That's what he... Frazier's tagged by a right hand. Solid. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five. Frazier's going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beats the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he does between you and break you. Unable to land clean by Roy Jones. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Jones's combination punching is working well here. This is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Solid. He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. One, two, three, four, five. And it's all over. Roy Jones Jr.'s gunned down yet another opponent, a knockout victory. Welcome you to our World Championship pay-per-view action.
I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Of course, he's coming off of impressive knockout win. Jones's opponent has to be very conscious of that. Well, I hope so. I mean, they should have done their scouting report. If they're conscious of it, there's a better chance that they don't get caught with the shot that his last opponent did. There's a straight right hand. Double jab upstairs. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Just like that. Just like that. If you are the fighter with lower stamina, and you know it, going up against a guy who can really go the distance, how do you go after it right from the gate? Well, I don't know that you go after it right from the gate because then you're basically telling your opponent, I have no chance. I'm desperate. I think you go out there looking like you're ready to go the distance. Maybe he'll start to slow things down a little bit and worry about the late rounds himself. Look at that combination by Roy Jones. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good return fire that time. Blocking a score. He missed with that headshot. What a mess this is right now. There's blood absolutely everywhere. He's got to worry about so many fronts, including the ref or Doc stopping the fight. Yeah, but you know, that's the funny thing for a fighter, for a professional, Joe. I would argue with you. He's not supposed to worry about all those things. No. Now's really the time that he must not worry about any of those things. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Up top with the right hand. If he's not. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. He is cut badly. The blood is just flowing down from that cut, Teddy. Yeah, if you're in the corner right now, your job is to keep the confidence level of your fight up. Tell him, hey, listen, maybe you lie to him a little tiny bit. You say, look, it's not bad. Just don't worry about it. Do your job. We're going to take care of this. He scored well after being hit himself. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Good two-punch combo by Roy Jones. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Blocks that punch. Good doubling up of the jab by Roy Jones. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. situation like this but many do he's been down now he's got to survive no that's where you're wrong it's not hard to prepare it's a must to prepare if you're a trainer that's what you're doing and banging away he goes 
Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind him how he got there because a lot of times it's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. Super two punch combo by Roy Jones. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you were just knocked down in the last round. Now you got to go out there, you got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. You also have to prove a lot to yourself, though, don't you? Yeah, but you have to Come remember, on. that's a good question, but you have to remember this fighter has been there before. So just remember, I have dealt with it before. And then you have to beat David Copperfield. A little bit of a magician, a little smoke and mirrors, and con your opponent. Let him think you're all right. Let him think you even want to fight when really you just want to buy a little time. Two snapping jabs by Roy Jones. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Jones is hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? Oh, Nowhere close that punch by Roy Jones. Keep it going. Keep Taking going. a bit of a breather here, just tying up, hugging his Go opponent at this point. Hey, look, even the great race cars, Indianapolis 500, bing, 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 zing, zing, zing. They're going around that track, 250 miles an hour. They pull it. Okay. Look at that. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. And round three. Round number four is underway. Teddy's got it a clean sweep. Roy Jones Jr. is taking the first three rounds. And Teddy, it's not always the number one indicator. But in this case, he's simply just throwing more punches. And that's why he's up on your scorecard. Yeah, Joe, he's keeping his opponent defensive. And he's not allowing him to do anything side back. Teddy, I think he really concentrated a lot during camp on working on the jab. I mean, just, just look at the punch stats here tonight. Just look at what he's been able to do. Well, I'm sure he has, and as you said, it's shown. And you know, when I'm in a corner, when I'm training a fighter in training camp, you just touched on it. You know? Big, big shot comes crashing home. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. The ref is stopping this fight. Roy Jones Jr.'s power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. We welcome you to World Championship Pay-Per-View Action. Alongside my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. So glad you're with us as we welcome you to the fame.
Okay, guys. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Well scheduled for tonight's bout. No matter what the sport, Teddy, it's very challenging to string together two absolute masterpiece performances. Jones's last fight was just that. It was his spectacular knockout victory. And he's looking for more of the same. And to get more of the same, he's got to remember, it wasn't just his power. It was the way he set it up. It was all the little things that he did. Patterson's turning into a star in this sport. Why? Because he has power. The one thing that people want to see. What should we expect to see of that power early on? Well, whether or not he's fighting a tricky guy tonight. Can he come up with a device, a way to take that power and get it to the target? Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Roy Jones. Halfway through this round, not much action as he just ties up. Very accurate with the overhand right. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Inside. Good flush shot by Patterson. Patterson's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Jones's punch is far off the target. There's another right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Active. He threw more punches. He landed more punches. You can see the punch stats here. And it really paid off for him. Yeah, what's that old saying? With great power comes great responsibility. And with great punch stats or high punch stats comes danger sometimes. Well... Well, I made that one up. I don't know if it's actually I like saying it. for that. But that's where you got to be careful. Yeah, the punch numbers are real high. But the more you throw, the more chance of somebody catching you as you're throwing. He has to be aware of that. Accurate hook by Patterson. Oh, what an exchange. Scoring with the right hand by Roy Jones. You know, a lot of people, Teddy, think that fighters like these two in the ring don't have fear, but that's not the case. No, it's not the case. Either you're a liar if you say you don't have fear, or you should go to a doctor and find out quickly what's wrong with you. Everybody has fear. It's a matter of who uses it, who controls it. But I'll tell you a quick story. One time, Customato told me this story about a fighter, Artie Diamond, actually, that he had years ago. What a tough son of a gun. This is a guy that always wanted to show how tough he was. And he used to always want to walk in there. But he couldn't become a good fighter because he wasn't afraid of the dimensions that he needed to be to be smart, to be clever. And where the other guys were together, they took advantage of those things. Roy Jones Jr. showcasing one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to set the tone, and that is the jab. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just, you know, snap your head back. It disrupts everything. You know, it just throws the other guy's rhythm off, and that's what he's doing a good job of. There's that proficient jab by Roy Jones. What an excellent two-punch combo by Roy Jones. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Yes, good work. Scores big with the hook to the head. Keep working the body. Good combination to the body. what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Roy Jones. Circle, circle! You see him holding on. 
crashes home with the uppercut. He gets off with a combination up top. Jones has been solid shot, the left hand. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He goes up top and gets to him, hammering the head. corner needs to really get to their man after this round they need to treat him after that knockdown they also need to give him some sound advice what's the advice you'd give him well first of all if they're gonna get the chance to get to him he better move his head but the advice i would give him is hey you go out this next round and you kill some time tie him up a little bit right from the beginning don't worry back about losing the, the early part of the fight or the early part of the round just get yourself back together he is not in good shape he could be on the deck in moments Patterson's hoping to recover right here. The way to do it, he feels to tie up. Yeah, it's not about machoism right now. It's about getting past this point, surviving, and then having a chance later on to get back to win the fight. Great work offensively landing that combination. But Jones is up three zip on Teddy's scorecard, but obviously he's putting together a big lead here, having his man down. Yeah, his opponent keeps walking straight in, so he's catching him with straight punches. Hard straight punches. Patterson's punches are way off the mark. He's been committed to throwing plenty of them. He just hasn't been committed to hitting plenty of the target. No, it's not like his opponent suddenly became the invisible man. I mean, he's right there in front of him. It's just that he's tired, and these punches are coming from left field, and guess what? They're not getting to the plate. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. Patterson's in a position right now, Teddy, that I've seen a lot of guys try to get themselves out of. Now, you've been damaged, you've been knocked down, you've been hurt, and it's desperation time. Teddy, we've seen guys with illegal fouling tactics just to survive. That's a good point. You know, I read his bio. He's a football fan. Right now, he better make believe he's a... He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Patterson's out of gas a bit. He's tying up his opponent. Yeah, well, you have to do that sometimes. Give him credit that he understands that he has to do that, and he's getting a little cooperation from his opponent. Roy Jones Jr. showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. One, two, one, two, go, go! Well placed, jab straight. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Roy Jones. So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? Patterson's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that... Big shot. Teddy, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. One, two, three, four, five, six. Patterson's back up on his feet. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. Nice job doubling up the jab by Roy Jones. Jones is making this look easy right now. He's a great athlete. He's got a... Wow, nice flush left hand. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Move your head.
Comes right back with some offense of his own. Big shot there. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Kenny. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Well-targeted left hand by Roy Jones. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked out numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in 11th. This is another one of those nights. Nice work, nice work. Patterson's game plan was to get to the inside and score and have success with a power punch gun. Oh, and there you go. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. The fight is over. Roy Jones Jr.'s hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight.